Hi and welcome to Vehicle Sales Trade Management System. Let's start by entering the customer's name and my customer's address is as follows. Let's say number five. Okay, so so five good times. Right? Yeah. And postcode is eight J H telephone number and type of car my customer would like but that is so let's come in here let's say he intend to trade in his present car that has between 11,000 to 15,000 mileage right there so that is what you get for your trading car now do you want any modification to this Bugatti so if you want modification you can always select that and that's how much it costs we do need a stereo customized details yep we want that do we want leather interiors why not and GPS so if you click on total that's what you are paying for your car and you can get yourself a receipt right there and that's it you can always exit no or reset if you want so with that let's go straight into C sharp development environment and we put one of these together let's do that now alright guys so I'm gonna start a new project I'm actually using Visual Studio 2017 so you will see the great new project right here so click on the create new project if you have one of those or you can if you still have the old one you will see a menu up here okay select Visual Studio 2017 then let's select the Visual C Sharp and we select Windows Forms Application. Come right here, give your project a name. I'm gonna call my CS underscore. Let's just call it Vehicle underscore Sales. So that's the name of my project. So click on okay okay the next thing is to dis define the size of this form let's come in here let's change up to approximately one three six eight by let's go for maybe yeah, 788 yeah so that's ready so let's come straight into the tools here. I need the following. We need about six of those. First of all, let's get rid of the content. I can always copy. I need six of those. And maybe two here. One here. Okay, and this very one. Let's put one here. Then one here. Total there. Now we need one more. Drag it that much. Copy this and just change it round. And drag this that much. Okay, we need. Need we're gonna need four buttons here. We might as well just enter those buttons now. You will need checkbox. You will need about five of those. Right there. What about text box? We need text box. Okay, we need labels. Let's put some labels here. Drag it down, we're gonna need this label need some labels here as well and text box 
think we're gonna need that in here. I'll move this here. And this one here, one here. We need combo box as well. Let's grab some combo box. We need two of two combo box. So I'm going to speed this up because this will be it's gonna take some time so let's come in here finally let's just get rich text box somewhere here for our receipt okay guys let's speed this up okay I finished designing the interface so if I run it so that you guys see what I'm talking about okay right here guys this is how the interface looks right now but nothing is happening you see that there's nothing going on in there so let's close that and come right down here first thing first let's get this sorted we need the name of that copy that very name double click on the form itself and right there inside the form we need to enter that's form load i like the form when it load up i like the following okay that's cmb core and the text box in this case i like it to include as follow select a car there come right out there and make sure you enter a semicolon there okay okay the next thing we want to do is to enter cmb car dot items dot add I like it to add the following so the first item I like it to add let's go for Lamborghini let's hope the spelling is right something like that and follow by the following now that that is in place so i have lamborghini rose royce bugatti and benz mercedes benz or mercedes now the next thing is you see when i run the program anyway let's run it if i run it for you you guys will see what i've just done now inside the combo box okay right here inside the combo box you will see the details of the car that we just put together but one thing is there's nothing in here okay so let's take care of this very one come back here select this combo box what is the name combo trading so let's come right down ah, that's form load as well and right down here we can just say select mileage so that will be select mileage there press an E here and the false mileage that will be let's come in here paste that and just select one of these so the false mileage we want to go for let's go for between 100 mile to a thousand now let's make that 5000 yeah. Okay, so if your car, the, the car you're trading in has one of those, that's okay. I think three will be fine instead of going all the way. Because I suppose you guys get the whole idea anyway of what I'm trying to achieve here. So this other one that's going to be, let's go for 10,000. Here we have 10 one and up to twenty thousand and that's it okay so when we run it okay this is how it looks right now okay so the next thing i want to do is just write a couple of lines of code so when any of this is selected the price is displayed here and if
if any of these mileage you selected the price is displayed here so let's come right in here and double click on this let's get the name right no this very one all right go click right here let's choose an if statement if dot text equals that will be a Lamborghini then enter for the bridges the price of this I don't know let's go for okay LBL call dot text equals so I can just go for maybe 65,000 okay now copy this so if the car selected is Rolls Royce I think that might be more expensive. I don't know. Bugatti is that expensive? I have no idea. I'm just gonna put that, put anything there. Maybe this might be about 70. And change this as well. Okay, we need Mercedes. I don't think that's that expensive, so we'll put this here and change the price of this. About we can we should be able to afford one for for that. Yeah, so that is that. So if I run my program now, okay, if we select this display a value there for us okay that's fine now we need to do exactly the same thing for the mileage selector there and come right down here double click on the mileage selector okay for the second combo box we enter as follows as you can see so if we come in here, double click on it, and there we go. Now, the next thing I want to do is, let me come in here, double click on that, and just let's enter the following, declare the following dialog variable, I exit, I exit equals, let's say, equals message box, dot show so we'd like it to confirm if you want to exit the system okay that's all those are the lines of codes for my exit let's enter curly bracket here and one underneath here now let's come back in here and let's take care of the reset button double click on that and we reset as follows just clear it then one other thing I like to do is I would like this to let's copy that the combo copy whatever is inside the text and there's another one on the upper combo box let's copy that for the car Yeah. now you see the receipts let's double click on the receipt I think we have are they receipts dot pen text equals let's enter as follows there we enter those for the receipt or maybe I should Let's separate the receipt and 
total and so on so let's just add a line here right so that is fine maybe add another line up here and we'll just enter the name of our product here let's say let's go for vehicle I can just copy this I have in here copy all of that back in your code and just paste that in there right if you notice I have backslash t backslash t that means let's tab it okay and this one is carriage return or new line okay so we've taken care of that now let's take care of this very modify double click on modify okay. no before that you see all of this let me disable them let's come in here let's come to enable equals force make that force so when i run the program that should all be enabled um that should all be force okay that's that's how it looks now